Hey y'all, what's up? Hope you guys are having a great day. Please leave your prayer requests in the bottom. Prayer is so important right now. If you need to email me, my email will be in the description. So, yesterday after I had made my video, a very interesting topic became the hot topic of the day. And when I woke up this morning, that same topic is the hot topic of the morning. It is absolutely insane. Because yesterday, I woke up hearing the word Damascus. I watched Sister Heather's video. And I heard, look at Damascus. Look at Damascus. It's fallen. It's fallen. And then I was watching Brother Chris's video. And I heard, look at Damascus. And I ended up talking to Sister Shelley and Sister Heather from Rapture Ready for Jesus. And Damascus, well, I mean, it, it was just like God was basically throwing Damascus in our face. And this morning, it is now 6.17. Okay, I've been up, I woke up about 3.30 this morning because my dog wanted to go outside. And I haven't been able to go back to sleep since. And ever since I woke up, and now it's 6.17. Okay, so from 3.30 to 6.17, it has been Damascus, 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 Damascus. And, or, yeah. And I've also had on my spirit the fall of great mystery Babylon. And I was in prayer this morning. And I said, God, how close are we? Is Damascus what takes us home? And I heard in my spirit, look at Damascus. And I'm just like, okay, okay. And it's just been, it's just been crazy. And when is that thing happening? I need to look. Guys, there's been so much information. October 2nd, something that Heather found. Like, whoa, blow your mind. And doo -doo 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 -doo. there's something that's happening in September. September 17th is a partial lunar eclipse. Now, I looked this up, and this made me think of Amos 8. And I was just like, whoa, whoa. God's really pointing me to Amos 8. God has pointed me to Damascus. God has pointed me to the destruction of America and the judgment that is coming upon this world. And God has been speaking very loudly. Like, it's, it, I feel like this stuff is just being thrown in our faces. And Heather's getting the same thing. And Sister Shelley says a lot of other people are getting the same, the same stuff. And I'm just sitting here like, God, just take us home. And they're talking about the digital ID in December. Guys, do not fear. The rapture is near. I just feel that on my spirit. To say, do not fear, the rapture is near. We, we, are, we are going to see the building blocks. We are seeing the seven years of tribulation approaching. We are seeing the rapture approaching. And we have nothing to fear. For God is with us. The rapture is close. God's going to pull us. At just the right timing. So please do not lose your hope. Do not lose your focus. Okay? Because the world has a plan. Satan has a plan. But God has a plan. What side are you going to stand on? Is the question. I hope you're in Camp Jesus. Because people in Camp Jesus get to make the great escape. But basically this... This uh, partial lunar eclipse uh, is not actually going to be where the sun goes, or 
the moon goes over the sun or vice versa, it's actually going to be in the shadow of the sun. And this can actually darken the moon. And it just made me think of Amos 8. And the moon, the sun will be caused to be darkened. And the moon will not give its light. So we are definitely seeing a lot going on here. God is speaking beyond loud at this point. And uh, Heather did a really great video that I didn't even know she was doing. I woke up to it and I'm like, oh my goodness. God led her to make that video and God's speaking. God is, I mean, it, I feel like God's yelling at us at this point. God is so angry. I can almost feel his anger for this world. And it just keeps getting darker and darker and darker. And we need to be in prayer. I'm telling you guys, prayer right now is so important. I do not tell you this to make you scared. But I tell you this because it's coming and it's a warning. And we need to be ready to go. We are going home, and that's the message I've been getting. That's the message Heather is beginning, and many, many others. Um, there, I'm trying to figure this out, guys. I'm telling you, there's just so much. There was a video this morning of what happened last night in Oakland, California. People were on the Oakland Bridge, blocking the bridge, running, uh, basically like doing uh, circles with their car, hitting people, running over people. Like, what? And then they're like, oh yeah, the cops can't do anything because they have, they have cut their forces in half. And I'm just sitting here like, Okay, God, please, just, just take us home already. I am so sick of this world and its evil and its wickedness. And, you know, when I was talking to Heather this morning, the Lord came over me. And I told her exactly, I typed out exactly what I had um, heard. And I'm trying to find it. Yeah, the Holy Spirit just came over me and I said, it is so bad out there, but this is just the beginning. And the that was me basically saying, this is the beginning of sorrows. God was confirming that we are in the beginning of sorrows. We are seeing pre-wrath. We're seeing the foreshadowing of the wrath of God and Satan that is to come. <clears throat> You do not want to be here. And I had a person uh, write me the other day. And, well, I think they left a message on my actual, like, um, on one of my videos in the comment section. But I, I removed them immediately. They were talking about how... We were supposed to go through the tribulation because God suffered and died for us. So we have to be tortured. No, 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 no. That's not what the Bible says. God seen us on the path. Jesus came down. He bore our sin. He paid our sin debt. He made us worthy and deserving to escape. But this person was also saying that Noah did not escape the flood. And I'm sitting here going, then why did he get on the ark? Why was him and his only family surviving? Why did God make that picture of the rapture? And then this person said that Lot and his family did not escape Sodom and Gomorrah. And I'm sitting there going, the Bible clearly states that Sodom... And Gomorrah did not have Lot and his family in Sodom and Gomorrah. They escaped. God got them out of harm's way before his wrath, his judgment came upon Sodom and Gomorrah. 
And for some reason, this one's a doozy for me. People are comparing. They're saying that it's the wrath in the seven years is going to equal to the flood. <laughs> Talk about some comedy here. The, I will tell you something. The flood, it was mercy. Compared to compared to the seven years of tribulation that's coming, that flood was mercy. I'll tell you that right now. You know, a flood, yeah, you're going to drown. It'll take you maybe. You'll probably suffer for maybe like a few minutes. Or maybe you're going to be lucky and you'll be eaten by a shark and you'll be dead before you can drown in a flood. Or some other sea creature because there was all kinds of... Um, lovely sea creatures that would have loved to eat you at the time of Noah's flood. Um, but I would rather be in the flood versus what is coming. And a lot of people seem to think that there's like going to be two raptures. There, there's not two raptures. There's not a mid-trib. There's not a post-trib, there is only a pre-tribulation rapture. There is a rapture, and then there is a second coming. They are two separate events, but people like to intertwine them together. And, you know, anybody who is left behind during the seven years of tribulation, you will not escape. If you reject the blood and you are left behind, even if you give your life to the Lord after the rapture, you will not escape what is coming upon this earth. You will, there will be no escape. The only way that you will be able to escape the seven years of tribulation if you are left behind and not go to the pits of hell, number one, you have to give your life to the Lord. Number two, you have to reject the mark of the beast. You have to die for Jesus. And, you know, a lot of people are not going to be around to see the rise of the Antichrist. Because Great Mystery Babylon is going to fall at the time of the rapture. We've seen it. God has showed it to us. God has revealed that in Scripture. We are, people don't understand how bad it's going to be. God, I believe that God's only showed us this much of this much. Now, if I'm seeing this much and I, I'm already like, ah, that's bad. I'd hate to see what this is. Right now, we are seeing the beginning. And it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Once the rapture happens, that's when the gate, the, the floodgates will be fully opened. That's when the famine upon the land, not of food, not of drink, but of the gospel. And people are going to be buying, selling, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage. In the, in the tribulation, after the rapture, there's going to be no buying, no selling, no drinking, no eating, no marrying, no giving in marriage. There's going to, life is not going to be normal. But we are definitely seeing the setup. We've seen the rise. Of the beast system. AI plays a big part in that. And God has revealed that to so many of us. I'm ready to go home. I don't know about. Excuse me. I don't know about you. But I'm ready to get off this rock. I am ready. To be with Jesus in my new glorified body. Where I will never sin, stumble, or fall. I'm ready to be in the arms of my blessed Savior. I'm ready to run up to him, give him a big old bear hug, and to tell him thank you to his face. I'm ready to see all of my brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to see every single one of you that comes across this video in heaven. I want no one left behind. That's why I come on here. That's why I tell you what's coming. That's why I tell you the truth. 
I'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat things. That's not my job to sugarcoat. And I don't think God finds it funny when you try to sugarcoat the truth. I think that actually kind of makes God a little angry. You know, God is a God of love, but he's also a God of judgment. He's also a God of wrath. You don't want to be on God's bad side. You want to be on his good side. In this world, whew, um, it is on his bad side. And we are seeing Bible prophecy leap off the pages of the Bible like we've never seen before. And we are getting the hugest, biggest, strongest warning about Damascus. And God has definitely linked it to our to get out of here. Now, will we see Damascus fall before the rapture? Are we going to see it? May some of the world see it and then we get raptured? Or are we going to be raptured at the time the bombs fall? I do not know. But I do know that last night they were heavily bombing Damascus. I haven't um, really heard much more on that today. But I know that uh, Brother Chris from Global Rapture Watchers is looking into this very heavily. And, you know, we are, you know what? We need to be focused on going home. We need to keep our eyes on Jesus. Don't focus on this cuckoo crazy world. This world is not our home. It's not where we belong. If you make, you know what? If you make plans, instead of saying, I promise, say, I plan on doing this. Do not make a full commitment to your plans on this earth. Make it known that you plan on doing this. But God may have something else in mind. And if God calls you home, you are not, you're not committing to this world or anything in this world or of this world. Because Jesus is number one. I'm not telling you to not live your life. But we have got to be ready to go. I feel it. I feel it so strongly we've got to be ready to go the king is coming god's about to send jesus we are about to be in our new glorified bodies no more sorrow no more pain no more death no more sickness everything that is bad will be left upon this earth and it will be unleashed fully upon this earth the age of grace will be pulled when we are raptured and we see that day approaching keep your eyes on jesus and be ready to go all right well i'm gonna get off here hope you guys have a great day bye y'all